So I was recently asked if it was possible to sweet pick finger style on the electric guitar. And it is, there's a few different ways of doing this. Uh, and I've talked about using the tremolo technique, which is, which is a bit kind of analogous to alternate picking in a previous video, I'll put a link up there. But this week, what I thought I'd do is show you a right hand technique that uh, an old classical guitarist teacher of mine taught me how to do many years ago. Now, so what I thought I'd do is break this lesson into two halves. The first half I'll focus on the right hand technique, so it'll be very finger style oriented. The second half I'll focus on the left hand and the shapes that I use to do this. These are really useful shapes, even if you use a pick. So stick around and check that out uh, if you use a pick, because it'll be useful for you as well. Um, but the... the um, Approach here is, and I'm, I'm going to be playing two octave arpeggios, is that. It's a bit rough and ready, because I've not done it for a while, but you can really get some speed up when you do this. So let's start with the, the right hand technique. Okay, so let's look in detail around the right hand technique, and I, um, all I'm going to do with the left hand is play an A minor arpeggio. But what we'll do maybe is start from the highest note. So you should be able to see that the descending pattern is just purely a rake with the right hand. So I slur off onto, from the top A down to the E and then, then I play all of the notes just with my index finger. So, so it's just one movement really with my index finger. And then that low note is played with my thumb, and then I hammer on, and then I pick the next note up with my thumb as well. And then I do index, middle, ring, and then index from the ring again, yeah? So playing that through once more, we've got that rake, and then my thumb plays that low note, hammer on, thumb plays a note on the D string, then index, middle, ring, in index finger playing that top note again. Now the hardest part to this really is that turnaround at the bottom. Um, and the best way of practicing this is just to focus on it. So you could just start the rake from, from the, the G string there. So my index finger is playing those three notes, then thumb, thumb, index. worth just playing around with that, just get used to that movement. And that's the trickiest part of this. Yeah. Okay, so the shape that I'm using, the left hand shape that I'm using is, is a class of shapes and they all follow exactly the same fingering, which has two notes, one, 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 and two notes on the top. And, and you can, if you explore this, you'll find you can finger all of the, the um, triad arpeggios, a major, minor, diminished, using, using this particular pattern, which, is, which means that your right hand technique remains exactly the same, but you change the arpeggio. Let me, let me see if I can demonstrate. Okay, so let's look at the three inversions of the minor chord and then the major chord. So we start with the minor chord. I'll do all of this in A minor, just like I've been doing before. So 12th fret on the A string, and it's just the shape that we've been doing. You can see it's two notes, then one, one, one. So it lends itself to this kind of picking. And I can go to the inversion above, which is just here. See just here, it's two notes, one, 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 two notes. So it follows exactly the same formula. And let's go to the shape below. Starts just there. Starts in the fifth, yeah. 
So you can see two notes, one, 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 two notes. And then, then the shape below that starts just here and it's the same as the one we had 12 frets above. So exactly the same picking pattern as we saw before with two notes, one, 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 two notes. So there's a lot of consistency with all of these shapes, which means the right hand technique can stay identical for all of them. And you can do exactly the same thing with the major shapes as well. So there's my A major shape, and you can see two notes, one, 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 two. I go to the shape above. Still the same, same formula designing this, and then the shape below. Yeah, you can see it's based around that C bar chord, and then below that. And that's it, all of the major inversions as well. So I've created a PDF of all of the left hand shapes and I'll attach it to the video as usual. Um, you know, it occurs to me that I've created a whole load of these PDFs over the years that I've attached to videos, and, and I was half thinking about collating them all and turning them all into sort of one huge PDF or a book or something like that, something that you can download. It'll take me a bit of time to do that, so I'd probably end up charging for that. But if you think that's useful for you, um, I don't know, I, I really haven't thought this through yet. But if I do that, maybe I'll charge some nominal fee for it. But obviously I'll keep making the PDFs, I'll keep attaching them to the videos as well. It's just whether you think it's useful for me to start collating all of these and putting them all together so you've got one reference for it. Anyway, <laughs> it's just an idea I had and that's it for this week. Have fun with it. I will chat next time. Goodbye.